a lot more than peppers and apple cider to give older children and New Year uh, and folks uh, New Year's Day to remember. So why not let your teens paint the town black with black light colors? Well, this is fun. Lori Wallace is live in Sacramento with a little crafty and cool New Year's Eve party. Hey, Lori. Yes, you guys. Hello. I'm in all the New Year's balloons just for fun art in Atomas. This place is all ready to give the kids a great time on New Year's Eve. Some kids are looking for a little more fun than staying home with mom and dad, maybe. This is the spot to do it. We have some of the kids set up with just one of the activities they have planned for tomorrow night. Ladies, doing a little painting. On the back of these paintings, you're writing your New Year's resolutions and goals. What do you have? Uh, I put to be a better dancer. What do you have? Um, to be a better softball player. To be a better softball player. Great ideas, girls, heading into the new year. I want to come over here around all the balloons to Miss Edie. You guys have set this up different this year. You have a couple different things going on. You have a younger group set up and you have an older group set up. Yes. So we have uh, from 10 to 13 year olds and then we're doing uh, to 16, 17 year olds. So we'll have them separated doing different things all night. We've got. Um, Karaoke, we're doing, I uh, think we're going to have a Mario Kart or a dancing game set up. We have photo booths, we have art activities. We have so much planned for the whole evening to entertain everybody until 2 30 in the morning. Okay, so what time does this party get started here? 8 30 at night. So 8 30 at night, you can drop the kids off. Parents don't stay. They can pick up at 2 30 or they can even stay later. Now, this yes. is where things get interesting. <laughs> so, Miss Carolyn has decided that if any parent needs to have their children to stay for an extended amount of time, we are opening that up to have them uh, camp out here with us until maybe 5.36 o'clock in the morning. 5.36 in the morning. <laughs> there are very few places that do an all-nighter for the kids right. on New Year's Eve, but you do have a lot of things planned. That's a lot of hours to keep the kids busy, it is. but you guys have found a lot of ways to do that. Yes, yes, and we're going to feed them, too. I forgot to say we were going to feed them, too. <laughs> oh, what's on the menu? Uh, pizza, soda, and a bunch of snacks, and a bunch of black light or food that glows under a black light. Well, that sounds like a good time. So this is the younger group you're looking at. We have a couple teens mixed in. Coming up next hour, we're going to meet some of the teenagers, hang out here, see what's planned for that older group. If you look back there behind me, that is a photo booth. You know how much we love a photo booth. Yes, we do. <laughs> and he does a lot of cool things. So we're going to check that thing out in a minute. The kids will never come out all night. The teenagers will spend the whole night in the photo booth. It's true. Oh, no. Sold. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> As long yes. as they're entertained and yes. occupied. Yes. You know what I mean? You guys are going to buy one Thanks for the glory. house year round? Yes. Right, exactly. Stay in, in there.